chairman, thank our panel for being here. Um, I'd like to uh, thank my colleagues in the House for the strong bipartisan effort that it took to get the Sandy Relief Package passed. Uh, our entire delegation in New Jersey and many others worked very hard, but I particularly want to thank uh, Mr. Sirez and Mr. Pascrell for uh, some incredible work. We partnered together on many issues, and this was another one that yielded a very good result. Um, as we look to the aftermath of, uh, of Sandy, um, I want to point out that our strong support and efforts continue for the thousands of people who are still displaced. A lot of folks think that since we're a year afterwards that everything is pretty well settled. And uh, we've made a lot of progress, but there, again, are thousands that are still displaced and devastated uh, by the aftermath of the storm. I think reforms that Congress put in place after Katrina have resulted in a market improvement with a federal response to Sandy, and much good progress and work has been done because of the strong partnership that's been created. And for a lot of people, they think this is just some federal money poured into it, but this is the federal government, numerous agencies, the state of New Jersey, local communities that have come together in an extraordinary way. Uh, in the Sandy Relief Package, we gave a lot of flexibility to the state of New Jersey. Uh, Governor Christie has an incredible hands-on attitude about how to work with the federal agencies and determine where this money could be best uh, put. Uh, but with all that good progress, because of flaws in the formula, which no one could foresee, we have a number of communities that have just fallen through the cracks. Uh, the Bayshore communities in Cumberland County, while a very small part of Cumberland County geographically, have just been devastated. Uh, we've got uh, Little Egg Harbor Township, we've got Mystic Island, we've got Tuckerton. Uh, these places have fallen through the cracks, and the suffering that these folks are undergoing is no less than the ones who were in the more inclusive areas. So we need to try to find the flexibility, and we're working with federal agencies to continue to see if there's room in the language. So we're going to be coming back trying to see what we can do on this. Um, Tourism is a tremendous mainstay for New Jersey. It's almost a $40 billion industry. So the recovery efforts focused early on on trying to recover for the tourism season uh, were pretty successful. Infrastructure projects had great success. And General Bostic, I want to tell you that the Army Corps in Philadelphia has been nothing short of outstanding. These folks understand how to partner, to get results, to get things done. They have been a pleasure to work with. Uh, they have gone in each and every community, looked at what we needed to do of how to get this done, and I think a real model for how some maybe other federal agencies could work. Um, so while this uh, federal, state, and local partnership has been mostly effective, we still need to work even harder to make sure that we finish the job for those people who really have fallen between the, between the cracks. Uh, again, this is a result of a strong bipartisan effort that I think we can look to with a lot of pride. We can see that this work has resulted in tremendous amount of progre progress, but sort of unrelated to Sandy. Uh, but certainly a part of it is what's happening with the flood insurance maps. And here again, we've had a pretty united effort from our delegation. Uh, Senators Menendez and Booker are fully engaged, but this is adding to the misery that the people of New Jersey along the coast are experiencing with the aftermaths of Sandy. So we have a very strong bipartisan effort with uh, a number of folks that are working on this, and we hope to have a success successful conclusion. So I'd like to once again thank those uh, members of the partnership for their work, but remind everybody that we still have an awful lot that has to be done, and we need this strong effort to continue. Mr. Chairman, thank you very much.